All right, now even though we can work with multiple video clips in one project, uh, we're probably gonna get the best performance by just sticking to one, at least if we can. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything I have in here. I'm gonna import a completely different video. So I just selected all of those and hit delete. And I have a video that I shot a while ago that I totally forgot all about. I just noticed it. And yes, it's this thing called gear. And basically this is a video that I shot uh, in my old house back in Pasadena, California. Um, just messing around, just shooting a bunch of my gear and trying to make it look all like scary and brooding. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and play this. And the whole point, the whole objective of this video is just to point out how easily we can edit video clips in the arrangement view. So if I go into the edit menu, all the functions that we have here, the ability to cut, copy, paste, duplicate, delete, and split, these will all work with video. So this gives us a very basic way to edit video within our DAW. So I'm gonna play this video from the top so you can see what it is. It's not very long. Gear. And by the way, if you wanna make the video full screen, you can simply just double tap on the video window. Very dramatic. My gear is possessed. <laughs> And actually, it's probably a good point to mention this now. This weird sound, the weird music that I did, I did in Ableton Live. And after I shot the video and edited the video in Final Cut, I imported that into Live, wrote the music to it. Uh, and I was able to do that because of the ability to import video into Live. So I made my little scary soundtrack. Which all came from me beatboxing and a lot of delay and reverb. So anyway, that's the video source right there. Now let's say that I want to edit this video in some sort of cool way. Uh, right now the video is relatively short. It's about uh, 55 seconds long. And maybe what I want to do is give this some sort of rhythmic sense, some sort of pace, and maybe make certain parts repeat uh, based on the tempo that I'm currently using. We see up here at the top my tempo was 120 BPM. Let me turn on the metronome really quick. And I'm going to turn the metronome down some over here. Okay. So let me zoom in a bit. And right now the grid is on. If I look in the lower right hand corner of the arrangement view, my grid is currently set to 16th notes. And it's an adaptive grid, which means that as I zoom in, the resolution of my grid will be more fine. And as I zoom out, the resolution of the grid is less fine. We have a higher note division here, where each line represents now a quarter note. So I can utilize this if I wanna edit this in some sort of rhythmic way. Let me move my window down here. And just to reiterate, the shortcut for showing and hiding the video window is Command Option V. There we go. All right, so I don't need to hide it, but I do want to get it out of my face for a second. And I want to figure out exactly when the word gear pops up on the screen. So let me see. As I'm moving my cursor through the video file, even though it doesn't look like it, this is actually updating the playback position in my video window. So the word gear starts to appear right about here, right at the third beat of the first bar in my arrangement. So I want to be able to utilize the word gear and maybe intersperse it with other parts of the video. If it starts here, I wanna be able to split the video clip so that I can grab a portion of it that just has the word gear. So while my cursor is here, the split command is command E. And again, this split command is also in the edit menu. There goes split. And just like that, I've been able to split the video clip. We can see now there's two different video clips where there was once one. I'm gonna play it from here and let me see. Okay, and I'm just gonna get this for two beats. At 120 BPM, the word gear starts here, it's starting to fade in, and I think it might be interesting to kind of get that fading in look uh, to repeat every two beats. So I'm gonna split this again at bar two, Command E. And let's go ahead and get rid of everything that happens before this. So I'm selecting this and deleting. And I'm gonna move this part of the video here, and I'm simply going to duplicate this part of the video. So it's selected, the shortcut to duplicate is Command D. And again, this is also in the edit menu, duplicate. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this a couple times. And just doing that, I'm gonna play it from the beginning and let's just see the look we get. Okay, so you're able to see the word gear. It kind of starts off a little bit lighter and then it quickly goes to full color. 
Now it's a pretty subtle effect, but the point is, is that it's rhythmic. We can see that it's doing this to the beat. Now let me go ahead and find another portion that might be kind of cool to insert. Okay, I think that's pretty interesting, zooming in on the headphones, also like the background noise that's going with it. So I've highlighted this section from bar five to bar six, and I'm gonna split this, Command E. And now that's its own little section as well. So let me go ahead and move this over here. And I'm gonna duplicate this a couple times. And let me see, all right, so let's play it from the top again, just quickly see what we have going on so far. All right, and then I think I'll do another split here. Now in this case, I don't necessarily want the part of the video that I'm going to edit to start with this frame. I'm gonna move ahead a little bit further. And let's say that you wanna edit the video, you wanna split it, duplicate it, but you don't wanna be stuck with the beat grid. A good example would be maybe the exact place that you wanna edit doesn't start directly on a beat or on an eighth note or 16th note. What we can do is simply deactivate the grid and then we can move our cursor exactly where we want. To deactivate the grid, I can right click, and down here, I have options for the grid size, and I can just turn the grid off. All right, so now, I have a lot more freedom when it comes to finding what part that I want to start at or split from. And I think something like this, kind of going into my little keyboard here, would be a cool place to start. So I'm gonna split the video clip here, now I'm gonna turn the grid back on because again, I'm trying to edit this in some sort of rhythmic way. I'll delete this, port. no, we'll leave that there. And I will split it here. Delete that, move this up. So as you can see, this is a lot like editing audio in Ableton Live. All right, and let's maybe make this split. Uh, this will just be for two beats. And I'll just duplicate this a couple different times. And okay, so by now you should kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. I'm just using some of the audio editing functions in order to edit this one video that is on my audio track in the arrangement view. So just quickly, I'll play it from the top again with the metronome on and we can get a sense of the rhythmic editing we've been able to do. back when I had a lot of Novation gear. So this is one application, one very practical application that's cool. And the main benefit of this is that we're able to edit utilizing the beat grid. So doing rhythmic editing like this, doing tempo-based editing is very, very easy to do.